Hi, I'm Nikki Hayes, a retired math teacher and principal, and I wrote an article not long ago about math and music being the two international languages that are spoken around the world. You can go anywhere, and if you can speak math or you can speak music and read the symbols, you can communicate with the people in that country. And I got to thinking that today's math is taught kind of by ear. It's like, how do you feel about it? It's not about memorizing times tables. It's, it's about working with calculators. It's about being creative. And consequently, we have an awful lot of kids, for some reason, who aren't liking math, although I think I know the reason. And it's because they're not very good. They don't feel very solid in it. So I got to comparing that with, with music. And I got to thinking, what if we taught all music students how to play by ear? They never had to learn notes. They never had to memorize what they sounded like. They never had to learn the relationships of those notes. They never had to practice scales because that's drill and kill. You know, we don't want to bore them by having to practice. So I wrote this article and I got some really good response about it. And I include that in my book, John Saxon's Story, A Genius of Common Sense in Math Education, because John Saxon taught math the way you would teach music. You learn the symbols, you practice them, you memorize what you need to, you're able to work problems without a calculator, you're able to feel really good about your performance, and you can show off because you are really good in that performance. And I think that John Saxon had something going for him. A lot of people hated him on the other side who wanted to teach music and math kind of the same way. And so they fought him a lot, but he still was a wonderful teacher and with uh, one and a half million homeschool students using his program even today. And so I would suggest you look at my book, John Saxon's Story, A Genius of Common Sense in Mathematics, or go to my website, saxonmathwarrior.com. Let me know what you think about teaching music and math only by ear.